You see? That's the original. King Umberto on the corner of Meacham and Hempstead Turnpike. We love KU. Oh, and they have, they have a patio there too, see? Oh, love KU. You love KU too, don't you? I love them. It's amazing. It's really good. Not like this fake one right here. Not to be confused with King Umberto's. This is just regular Umberto's, okay? Don't get it confused. And trust me, it's nowhere near as good. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy holidays. It is like TGIF. It's technically Thursday, December 23rd, but it's actually a Friday because we're closed tomorrow. Aren't you happy? Very happy. Are you happy to go to Mass, Midnight Mass? Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun? Okay. Very nice. You got to pray to God. Love praying. That's awesome. Awesome. We're on our way to North New High Park. Carmen Ice, the detectives are going off in the house. National Grid came out and shut down the boiler. Well, at least that's what I was told. So let's go see what's going on and why that happened. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Do it now! How are you, sir? Merry Christmas. I kept the driver open. Oh. Oh, yeah, we parked down the block. It's like it's like we're in Queens here. There's like not parking. I know, you just right around the corner. Yeah. So, tell me what's, what's going on. Okay, well. I had um, my CO2 detector went off Okay. two days ago. The fire department and everybody came. Um, we shut everything off. I had the chimney guy. So it's a little bit warm in here. How, how are you heating the house? I, I noticed. Nothing. No, just natural? Okay, good. Well, so far, I, but I do have a heat upstairs in the space heater. Steam online. boiler. Yeah. I saw online that you guys were, I saw in the video, you guys did several of these things. Cleaning. A lot of them, yeah. So it's one. So, the chimney guy came yesterday, took everything apart. He didn't put that back. He said he ran out. Ran but out your chimney guy didn't say anything about the uh, the flu pipe on the water heater. No, he said yeah. He said that's wrong. But that's wrong. That's yeah. like dangerous. He said that's wrong. That's the reason why maybe carbon monoxide is coming into the house. Uh, no, the fire guys, the fire department checked, and this is coming from the back. Yeah. Yeah. This is carbon monoxide. Oh, I see the soot there. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I don't know the carbon monoxide. That's what the chimney guy said. The chimney guy came, and that's what he said. Okay. So he said. So who stole? I gotta ask you a question. Who stole this water heater for you? Yeah, actually, well, like a neighbor. A neighbor. Yeah, like a an old retired. He's a, he's a retired guy that uh, <sighs> unfortunately is no longer with us. I hear you, but yeah, okay. yeah no, because the, well, he did tell me when we, when we first got it, there was a lower, there was a lower. I was, yeah, a low and boy. Then, and then they didn't have it, so we got this one. So what happened was the boy, the boy guy put it, and he was coming out from the back. So he said, he said, you look, but then the chimney guy came and he, he opened up this one and he, he lit a piece of paper, he put it in there and all the smoke was thrown out. So he said, it's not your chimney. Let me go on the side. No, okay. Side. And that's what he said. I get it. Let me squeeze it. Let's see. I can't see. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. She's carbonized. All right. And not to worry, I got all my shots on. Okay. I'm not worried. Trust me. I'm fully vaccinated. Me too. I'm not worried. You know what? I believe in herd immunity. Eventually, we're all gonna get it, regardless. And actually, I I believe in if your time's up, is up. Exact. Exactly. Because I only go by, I only go by the story. I think he's definitely too young. Like, um, back in 9/11, this was a true story. It was in the papers and everything. There was a Port Authority police. He he had his dog during the 9/11 when the building was going down. Before it went down, he was running up the stair with his dog. Port Authority police oh. in the stair. No, the buildings collapsed. He survived. You know why? No, this is a true story. It was in the papers. The, the way the scientists everyone explained it, because when the building collapsed, it was inside the stairwell. It collapsed like this, created a cushion like this, and it took him and the dog, like almost a like riding on a cushion it down, and they both survived. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's see how bad it is. Okay, now let's look at the video. <laughs> well, so you have a rollout right there. 
and not there. Let's look inside there again. He came on, turn on to see where the leak was. Right, let's go in there and see. So that's, that's why that's why it's still on. So the back part. The back part of the boiler is carbonized. Not the front. The back part is carbonized. And the only reason why I'm wearing this is so I don't breathe in all that soot. I don't want to breathe this stuff in. No bueno. All right. I told him I want to take a closer look. So we took off the top of the boiler. There's a series of screws there, 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 and there. That's over there. It's off to the side. Removed. Oh, God. Oh, it actually has a stainless steel liner. Look at that. All right, see that? Is that good? Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, no, There's yeah, the, the steel converter. That piece of All right, I want you to grab the soot, the soot vac. All right, let's grab the soot vac, and then we'll start vacuuming as we do this. All right. Time to start vacuuming. There's my soot vac. Nice and white. side and the front there and not all of them but just enough to give me some play so i can get in there we got one more over there the goal here peter mm -hmm. is that we're going to loosen this up right and then slide this that away and then lift up this whole piece this top the top box which is actually the diverter because all the you're going to see once i take this off is the top of the boiler okay turn that on mm -hmm. uh, let's remove the Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Get rid of that. Is it gone? Vacuum as we go along. Yeah. Hold, hold this. Camera? No, hold the. No, hold the. Oh, yeah. The vent damper. Okay, let's put this off to the side. Now, lay that down right there. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see. Grab that, try to lift up that side. Okay, carefully, let's have a lot of soot to the bottom of this. Right, straight up. Oh, 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 hold on. It is caught on something. It's called, that is the blocked vent switch. Yeah. So lay that carefully somewhere down. If you don't try to drop it down because you'll get yeah. crap everywhere. Gotcha. All right. So we need to scrub the boiler. We need to scrub the boiler and then do a full combustion test. All right. Peter Pan is vacuuming out the diverter hood. Got my brushes. I'm going to uh, disconnect the gas and the thermocouple. Alright. Got my special little wrench right there. 716 to 38. Alright. We're going to end up replacing this gas. Gas style pilot tubing. It's gonna get the works when we're done anyway. Alright. Get that out of there. 
Jeez Louise. Run the plane EG40. Steamer. It's got the domestic coil there. And they're using that for zoning. Hydronic zoning. Probably top floor extension. And I guess the basement. Alright, so now that the uh, pilot burner is out in the world, we're going to start scrubbing this thing down. And hope we'll get some good video of that. Alright, so I'm going to start with these brushes right here. Focus on the back. And let's see. Give you guys a good angle. Right. Let's see. Get a little front row. Front row seat. Your coffee out. Your donuts. The popcorn. Alright. Let's just see. Let's see how that was works. Uh, <laughs> I already see some debris falling down yeah, there. Yeah, going to. Where's the vacuum? Look at the vacuum and turn it off here. Mm -hmm. Look at down there. Oh, that's coming down. All right. Here we go. Look at the uh, phone. That's the phone. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm just brushing down, brushing down. So, let me show you how we're doing this. All right, we're going in at an angle. You see, like that. And when we're doing that, I got the vacuum running too. We're in that mess. All right, and we're doing one by one. And the brush, handle is going to want to get stuck so you got to like twist it out when that happens all right so now you see i'm going on this angle and i'm going to follow by going in the opposite direction i'm going to do section by section so i'm going to do this these two in the middle in between these two sections in between these two sections and then in between these two sections all right just finishing up the first in between the first two sections and as you can see we're pretty much clean all the way down. Put the light down there. I want to see the light shine from above. There you go. Fairly clean. All right, let me go one more pan. Now for brushes, I'm using three different sizes. This is really caked up. We got the small one. That's how we get started. And I progressively get larger. Make it all the way down through there. And while I was cleaning, I was thinking about, well, why is it like that in the back? And I'm thinking, you know what? I didn't bother filling up the, the boiler with water, but I don't see any indication of a uh, failed heat exchanger crack okay. or whatever. And we would have saw a lot of rust and a lot of other, you know, signs of water uh, intrusion damage in the combustion chamber. And I didn't notice that. So I think we're good. We're just going to need to give it a good cleaning. Make sure the burners are clean. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, fire up and do a combustion test. Yes. The yellow lever goes into the bucket. Okay, so I just empty it out until when? Until <laughs> forever. <laughs> Seriously. Is my boiler broke? Can you come take a look? No, no, there is a reason why I didn't pick up the, the five calls before is because I'm scrubbing a boiler right now. And I'm in, I'm in New High Park. So... Maybe call the office, speak to Jennifer. Maybe she could take, you know, one of the other guys off another job and, you know, deal with that. But you got to start draining the boiler. If your husband didn't close the valve fully and the boiler is f and piping and the radiators are full of water, um, you got to drain it. Okay. You know, with buckets and the bucket brigade, you know, just keep dumping the buckets. Into I'm by myself, Mike. There's no uh, husband. Jack is in Florida. Okay. Okay. Just you, you, you can do it. You can do it. I'm gonna have no heat. 
No, you're going to drain the boiler. Just call call the office, okay? Okay. Thank you. Steam boiler, mm -hmm. right? Refilled the boiler, mm -hmm. didn't fully close it, mm -hmm. and X amount of time has passed, and now the whole house is flooded. Water's pouring out of all the uh, radiators, steam air. And here we are scrubbing a steam boiler. How coincidental. Yeah. <laughs> uh, She's looking clean, though. Getting there. We're getting there. Yes, we are. We're about, I don't know, 30% done so far, just scrubbing. But yeah, let's keep going. All right, it's two done. Let's see how how much we got out so far. Let's see. Wow, looks like a little mountain of of soot. A little mountain of soot. There is there is no husband. Jack is in Florida. He's not the same. Yeah. Well, start draining, lady. Start draining. She's the one that got the double basin LK sink. Uh -huh. Right, with the Wolverine brass kitchen faucet. Uh -huh. That I need to make modifications to the uh, the countertop in order to secure the sink. Uh -huh. Yeah, and because of that, that's the reason why I start using that oscillating tool now. A little oscillating tool I have by Fine. I love that thing, by the way. But scrub and we scrub. Scrub a dub dub. All right. Now, we'll just get in there. Hustling. Hustling. All right, now. I already went that way. Now I got to go this way. All right. And I hate it when these rods get stuck in here. It's annoying. But you got it in, you stuck it in, you can stick it out. You know? Mm -hmm. So you always gotta lick it before you stick it. Ah. Mikey Pipe saving another boiler. Look at that. Bad. Let's get the larger one now. Get in there. Let's scrub. Let's scrub in her back. You know? Now, section by section, with a larger brush. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Some of you guys like to use a pressure washer and water. That makes a mess. I saw someone on Instagram yesterday, last night, a local guy using a pressure washer. All right, the pressure washer, the, 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 the soot, and I'm seeing water all over the floor. All over the floor. All right. Time to start rebuilding. Let's see. Are you sure it's clean in there? All right, that's just superficial on there. Sections are clean. Okay. All right. All right. I'm using a wire brush to clean out the little slats in the burner tube. So that's what I just did. And it's filthy. I know. Definitely didn't help. I'm going to clean all these out. I'm going to replace the, uh, the pilot burner. And pilot tubing, thermal couple. Yep, gonna do all that. If you use the bender, make a nice bend. I'm trying to take this thing into pilot. She don't wanna go. Alright. You don't wanna go. And if that it's giving you that much trouble, it's gotta be replaced. And unfortunately, we use that blue block there. Some other efforts. What the hell are they thinking? Oh man. And this is what you don't do, by the way. Let me show you. You don't do this. See? 
Works fine now, but no, see, it's not freely turning, and you don't ever, ever, ever do that to make it work. So we're getting a new valve. Plain and simple. Look at that. You go once, once you go there, it doesn't want to go. So I'm not taking any chances. It's coming out. I wish it wasn't all blue blocked in, but it is what it is. New gas valve. <sighs> Interesting observation here. Blue block. Even there. And there. Which makes me believe one of two things. This bar needed replacement. Or maybe the gas valve needed replacement during its lifetime. Oh, look at that. Look at different CP numbers. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So the gas valve has been replaced once before in the lifetime of this boiler. Guarantee. No. No, no, no. This CP number is the serial number for the boiler. Why does this have a different CP number? Does this boiler come with the house, sir? No. You had it installed? Yep. Uh, so give about, me some history. About 15, <clears throat> sorry, about 15, uh, 15, 20 years ago, had it replaced, but before it was one zone. Then when we dormer, about a good 15 years ago, they added the, the second zone. So I know, for, the, for, for those, yeah. but, but you had... No one? Your boiler has two serial numbers on it. No, nothing was changed or touched from when I first got it, had it installed. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. There's lint covering everything. Like, it's everywhere. And even on the burner tubes. It should be, yeah, right? It should be, it should be venting out. Yeah, so that's, that's another thing. But there's, there's lint everywhere. On all the piping here. Everywhere. Alright, Peter Pan. See these burners? Mm -hmm. Wire brush. Where's the wire brush? Here it is. You clean those. I'm gonna to put together the gas valve. All right, putting the gas back together. Look at this. It's everywhere. It needs to be four inch, not three inch, by the way. He's got a new water heater. All right, working on the gas. Working on the gas. Oh, he's my bender. Let's make this nice and pretty. Okay, I used my rigid bender. This is the 456. Had this thing for 20 years. And I made a few bends on my pilot tubing. So there's the first 90. A little offset right there. Another 90, another 90, another 90. And perfect, right into the gas valve with the bender. That's why they call me Mikey Pipes. I laid a good pipe, a little bit of a, a little bit of a little offset right there. You know, it's, it's always good if it's curved. You know, look at that, perfect. All right, you cleaned all the burners. Yes, uh, there, was, there was lint in most of them. Yeah, I know. It's linty. It's called this, the case of the lint. <laughs> linty. Shouldn't be an eg. It should be an a linty. Linty. <laughs> linty. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Remember, if you want a magical pipe wrench, you need to hit that dollar sign. Do it now. Do it now. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get on there. Okay. All right? Look at that. That's like, that's like Thanksgiving dessert right there. All right. Thermal couples in. Pilot is on. My nice bends. I'm putting the burners back in. Peter Pan's working on the draft diverter hood. And then we'll take some uh, furnace cement, 
fire cement around it. Put the burners back in. Reassemble. Combustion test. All right. And look at this gas valve. See? Once it's in the off position, it don't want to go back to pilot. See? And the only way to do it is with a wrench. And if you've got to take a wrench or any tool to a gas valve, no bueno. Time for it to go in the garbage. I wonder what William McLean says about this CP number, though. I'm going to call him. Technical him. support and warranty support are available extended business hours. If you know your party's 10-digit phone number and would like to dial directly, press 6. To dial by name, press pound. Please listen carefully to the following menu options, as many have changed. Press 1 for distributors with order or claim inquiries. Nope. Press 2 for contractors, distributors, or engineers with technical troubleshooting needs. Nope. Press 3 for homeowners with a boiler problem or nope. question. Press 4 to create a warranty claim or for warranty inquiries. Uh Press 5 for 24-7 product calling the Warranty Center. Our normal business hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Oh, if you are calling to create a warranty claim for a failed part, please have the following information available. Okay. Your estimated wait time is... Two minutes. Oh. Your position in queue is... Two. Wow. That's good. Oh, look. You got blackfish. <laughs> is, it, is, is it actually black? Yeah, <laughs> your forehead is. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right. See this, Peter Pan? Mm -hmm. Furnace cement. You're gonna open this up. Okay. You make sure you have no rips in your gloves. I do have rips in my gloves. All right, and you're gonna put around there. All right, right around there. There, 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 and there. It was a little bit. Like you saw what happens was there before, right? Not much. Okay. How can I help you? Hi, good morning. Can I give you a CP number? Sure, what's the CP number? 272-6580. Are you just checking the age on the unit? Well, I'm curious because I'm working on an EG40, um, and I had to replace the gas valve, and then I see this. there's a CP sticker on it, right? And it doesn't match the boiler. I'm like, why is this? So the, that number I gave you is a sticker that someone placed on the gas valve. But, it, but that sticker comes from, um, it looks like it's just the CP number for the box that the EG came in from 1994. Huh, because the, the CP number on the boiler is different, which is 2643300. Well, the CP numbers are different. They put CP numbers on parts too, so they ah. are going to be different. Yeah, so that's 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 normal. Okay. But this is the CP number for the box that it came in, which is from '94. Okay, the boys from '94. All right, thank you so yeah. much. You are welcome. Happy, Happy holidays. Holiday. Thank you. Do the same, man. Be thank well. You. Bye. Bye. Well, that solves that 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 question. Yeah. Uh, what, what does that mean? Well, that means that 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 came in the box uh, with that CP number, which I guess it had its own. What are you doing? I'm trying to get too much. No, you gotta like. What are you doing? <laughs> you gotta get a lot more than that. Just glob it on there. Okay. Can I Peter, Peter Pan, like this. You put the thing back and you just take that piece of paper out later. Oh, okay. You don't mind. Oh, Which piece of paper? The one that's stuck in the stuck in the flume of the chimney thing. Where? Right there, that piece of paper that we. That. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because that's what the um, that's what the chimney guy left in there. Oh. So you just gotta get in there. See. Glob it. Yeah. Okay. The right. chimney guy was the one who just like. Left, left my stack the way it is. Right, just like that. Okay. All the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Furnace cement. Now I've got cocky on my hand. <laughs> All right. So we have furnace cement everywhere. It's perfect. Here's your top cover. Okay. All right. This top is the back. So we could be able to go in this way. This way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And we're gonna throw our screws in and then the side screws. <clears throat> All right. And once that's done, we'll put the vent damper on, connect the flu, get rid of that. What is that stuff in there? Oh, it's paper. Let me get the vacuum. Yeah. I'll turn it on for a second. <laughs> Like burnt paper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Don't go crazy. 
Get off me. Okay, we have the Volar. We'll set up the combustion analyzer shortly. Look at this. Mint everywhere. Let's take a look here. That's intact. Oh. Maybe someone just didn't clean up themselves when they looks looks this looks new. Put it everywhere. Look at this. It's like a lint factory here. I swear it's a lint factory, Peter Pan. Yeah. Factory of lint. <laughs> All right. Damper is opening. We have ignition. Smell it. What? Yeah. I'm gonna see how it's, how it's burning now. What is that? All right. She's been running for two minutes now. O2, 7.2 percent. CO2, 7.8 percent. Carbon monoxide, 21 particles per million. Stack temperature, 303 incline. A flame. Looks nice. Nice flame. Nice flame. I smell like burning human hair. Yeah. It smells like hair is burning for some reason. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. Yeah, it yeah. smells like that too, yeah. Yeah, you smelled that before? Nope. No? Maybe lint fell in the process of cleaning it? No, there's no lint in the process of cleaning because we cleaned it all. Maybe it just went, I don't know, down. Yeah, hopefully it goes away. Because it's still so nice. Yeah. It doesn't. I'm going to go outside take a look and make sure the smoke's coming out of the chimney. What do you mean, say, is the smoke coming out of the top of the chimney? No, I'm not making sure that he's venting out. Can I see? What happens if I see this? Yeah, you'll see that, but you shouldn't see white smoke. Oh, okay. You okay. see white smoke, you have steam okay. going up the chimney. Let's go look, though. <laughs> Let's go look. Yeah. That white smoke. Oh, man. That yeah. sucks. What does that mean? That means you have a hole. Not often. Not often? Yeah. If, if, if any, maybe once. Once a month? Not even. Let me see. Okay. So then that white smoke is not steam because if that white smoke was steam, then we would be losing adding water continuously. Yeah. He doesn't have it. I thought he had an automatic feeder. He doesn't. His, this is the boiler feed valve yeah. right here. So yeah, well, that's just I, this, this yeah. condensation, just normal. Because the boiler's cold, water's cold. So we're yeah, good. We Blackface. <laughs> so hi, mom. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, our numbers are perfect. It's a no leak. Oxygen, 6.8%. CO2, 8%. Carbon monoxide, 22. Stack, 451. Do you remember how Dan Daniel printed from here? Uh, I, he had a hard time figuring it out. He had a hard time figuring it out? I remember he ended up doing it, I think. <laughs> But it took a while. Really? I believe, yeah. Damn it, I want to know how to print. <laughs> uh, maybe copy readings and menu? Yeah, no. Not that it's part of the manual. Is it this blue thing? That's even a button. No. Defer to manual. See, defer to manual. So now. Please wait. Which is it? Reminds me, you know what that please wait means? Reminds me of system wait. Those stupid Honeywell thermostats. Oh, yeah. Printing report, please wait. Like, what the hell? Why are you printing already? Slow. <clears throat> it is slow. It didn't print anything. Why didn't it print? Send the report. Print. Oh, 
I gotta ask Daniel. He'll know. He's the IT guru of the company. That's kind of dumb. Why is it dumb? Why is it like that? It's upside down. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Peter. I mean, uh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Why? I'm kind of busy right now. All right. There's the results. Nicey nice. And we're also gonna do one with the test though to validate these numbers. Alright. Get in there? Yeah. It's okay. not staying though. I right, just hold it there for a minute or two. Just gonna get some readings off that and then we'll clip more. It's already hot, so I just gotta get climb and stack temperature and we should be good to go. But one of the things I didn't notice before is how improperly installed this boiler is. <laughs> So here's our three inch steam main coming out of the boiler. This should be an elbow. Then we need, you know, the the, the, the the T to pick up the steam main here. They just put it right on top of there and this is not an equalizer, <laughs> right? They think it's an equalizer, but it's not. And then this is going to, I, I would assume this is another main, but there, it's acting like a radiator. But that's a radiator that goes somewhere. And then like, why even do this? They should have just piped it straight up. <laughs> like, it's stupid. If you're not going to do things the right way, don't do it at all. Or maybe they didn't know, or they didn't care. But nonetheless, pipes and basements are always used as closet rods to hang your hangers on. It's a little cocky right there. See that cocky? That's cocky. You know that's cocky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's tripping on you. I'm just joking. <laughs> Now, interesting, so on the Testo, we're showing two parts per million, or particles per million of CO, right? Mm -hmm. With 6% O2, right? And 8.35% CO2, and a gross efficiency of 81.6%. But we did some research with the Testo, and there's uh, a, a, a margin of error mm -hmm. of plus or minus 25, 25 ppm. That's what it says in the fine, the fine print. Really? Plus or minus 20 or 25 ppm. So right now it's reading one, but the volar showed, I think, 20. So it could be 26. Yeah, let's, let's see what the volar said it was. Twenty-five. No, seventeen. The volar says seventeen. I got my money on volar. Yeah, probably. Because the testo, plus or minus twenty. Or 25. I'm gonna look at that manual. So now it's down to zero. So let's clipboard this. Okay, pull it out. Uh -huh. Now we'll do draft. Is it out? Uh -huh. Good. I'm gonna zero out for 11 seconds. And let's stick it back in the hole, test my draft. I read somewhere, I'm not mistaken with the, the accuracy. There's, I think it's 20 to 25 ppm. All right, stick it in the hole. Mm -hmm. which I couldn't believe, but Daniel showed it to me. Hmm. Positive draft. It's a pretty big margin. Yeah, a positive draft. It's at zero right now. It's actually point zero point zero right now, which now it's zero point zero zero four negative pressure. Now let's see if we could uh, stay zero. I'm just gonna clipboard that anyway. So we're just borderline, borderline negative, negative, and now point zero zero eight, point zero zero four. Okay. Whatever. But, like what is up with this, by the way? Five years. This way for five years. Full cleaning, gas valve, pilot, thermocouple, CO test. The works. This EG40. Just got my Testo 317. Just checking the area. 
There's nothing. Nothing in the air. Perfect. All right. Filled out. Service pal. All right. Found boiler carbonized. Found main burners very dirty, as well as majority of the boiler covered in lint and dust. Disassembled boiler to scrub between cast iron sections. Scrubbed and cleaned heat exchanger. Replaced gas valve, pilot burner, pilot tubing, pilot flame sensor. Performed combustion and draft analysis with the Voler A450 and the Testo 320 combustion analyzers to validate safely working boiler. Check normal, print out of both tests affixed to front of boiler. He's interested in the service plan and that's 45.17 a month. There's that and yeah, sorry, you're not gonna know what that is, but it's worth every penny. And let's just do a quick little stroll and make sure that we're limited to just what we see here, which is one, zero. Let's go upstairs. We have one. Shouldn't have any, but we have one and part of this is because of that borderline draft that's just low battery you see low battery yeah let's test the draft one more time all right so i'm up in there where it needs to be it's actually better now for whatever one reason but okay clipboard that okay all right we're good last but not least three screws per joint that's the rule three screws per joint okay so we'll do a few more there there they are and we're good to go Let's take one more look at these flames. It's hard to tell, but it's good. It's good. No rollout. I'm gonna tighten up that screw though. Tighten up both screws actually. Installation is not complete unless the operating instruction label is attached here. I was sitting there, by the way. <laughs> okay. We're good. See, a good technician is observant of his surroundings. What's... This is like deja vu. Watch this. All right. There's an old Oak Ghost service sticker. From 11 19, 1994. Miles was here. Not accepted. No chimney cert certificate. So, number one, no chimney certificate. Number two, no boiler specs. Number three, needs new feed. Right? Also, let water heater go with three inch, no one foot rise. Not listed in NFDA. <laughs> Uh, NFPA, sorry. Um, <laughs> so they had no rise. They had the unaccepted amount of rise when they did this boiler inspection in 94. And now look, we're at 40 years later. <laughs> it's, yeah, I think we have like a foot of back pitch. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. And, you know, it really wouldn't be so bad if, if they didn't have this stupid thing here, this damper. Right? Because that's how they're gaining efficiency by circumventing the law, the EPA laws. So in order to make this more efficient, most manufacturers added more insulation. What these knuckleheads did at Whirlpool, which is owned by Craftmaster Water Heater Company. John oh. Johnson City, Tennessee. This is like AO Smith. Uh, there might, might be a knockoff of AO Smith. So what they added this damper here, 
right? Which is kind of like the boiler. So when the damper is closed, it keeps the efficiency, <laughs> right? Instead of going up the flue. But if this wasn't here, you and that, that again, this, this can't be three inch. It has to be four inch because it's over 40,000 BTUs. Or is it, is it 40,000 BTUs? Mm -hmm. So you put a, a new Y there, whatever that is, six by, that's not six, that's six, but that's probably seven or eight. So you have a, you really have the chimney company's got to come in here and just lift this up, mm -hmm. right? And you may just, but not really, you need a new water here. So, because there's a liner in there. But if we didn't have this here, right? And we just had that, we could take four inch from there and drop it on there. And you're really not supposed to, but you can use a horizontal diverter, okay. right? You haven't seen one, but, and because they're not really allowed, but they're still, they're still out there. Just like uh, saddle valves. <laughs> saddle valves aren't the code, but you can buy them. But that would help. But you have this, so and we with that, that controls that, so you just need a new water here because it's not safe. And I'm not touching it, I'm not turning it on, it's remaining off. And have a nice day. The heat works safely. So what'd you think? That was the first carbonized boiler that you helped yeah. uh scrub. Dirty. Really dirty. Yeah. But it's interesting. Trust me, that's nothing what you've seen there. Really? That is nothing. I've seen when you just all you have to do is just lay on the you know not lay on the floor but look down where the burners are and you see those those it look like pillows of white of yeah. black balls right yeah. and you touch it like dis disintegrates you see it like that and you know you're effed yeah yeah that one wasn't so bad but we figured it out oh I still got this lamp on my head oh <laughs> love Bosch <laughs> love Bosch yes you do hashtag love Bosch ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and don't worry, the video's not over yet. I'm gonna give you a little more food because I, Mikey Pipes likes to give sustenance and nourishment, food. So, a couple things just to remember. Thanksgiving evening, no, Christmas evening. <laughs> See, I'm an idiot, I'm a lunatic. Christmas evening, which is December 25th, in case you don't know when Christmas is, you people who don't know what Christmas is, which is Saturday night probably around eight o'clock we're gonna do a live stream and i'm gonna give away some stuff mm -hmm. i may give away a bird <laughs> a bird a whole, uh, an actual bird a bird okay. a bird and i'm probably gonna give away a veto nice. and we're also gonna give away some some um some love love for christmas cheer yes that's right because i am not the grinch i am saint mike I am not the Grinch, the Scrooge. Scrooge, I'm not a Scrooge. So that's the first thing. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you, you have that notification bell, you know, checked. So you get post notifications. Cause you don't want to miss out when I drop something special like that. You don't. All right, now we're on our way to someone who needs some pipe. Well, she needs me. All right, and we're gonna give her a call right now. You ready? Uh -huh. Let's give her a call. You get the. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh. I hear. Hello. I hear you need me. I need you and tequila. Who's coming first? How about I, how about I come with tequila? One. Okay, Mike. Don't tease. I'm not teasing. Okay. I'm not a tease. Okay. I know Joey is here, and I think he has vodka. Who is? Joe. I'm just kidding. Um, when are you? Um, <laughs> When do you think you're I, I think I can come in about half an hour from now. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. But I do have tequila. I'll pour for you. I, well, it's it's a business trip. Or or it could be personal, too. But you said, but when you when you called me in a panic, you said, when you called me in a panic, you said, there is no husband. He's in Florida. You did say that. I did say that. You did say that. I did say that. Just don't tell Jack. Okay, I won't tell Jack. Okay. You got it. So should I come alone or should I should I come come with my other apprentice? You can bring the, you can bring Daniel. He's I like not him. no, it's not Daniel's not an apprentice. Daniel's a technician. I actually have his brother, Peter. Okay, I need I need time to change now. Bye, Mike. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> she needs time to change. <laughs> <laughs> Half hour. <laughs> yep. All right, we're gonna go say hi to flooded boiler lady. What's the matter, Peter Pan? Package. A package? 
Daniel Shorts. -a -lot. Daniel Shorts a lot. <laughs> oh, from True Tech Tools. What do you think's in there? I don't know. Too bad you're not Daniel Shorts a lot. You're Peter Pan. Can't open it. Can't. Who says we? Maybe. Well, you could open it. Well, I can't open it. That's you know, that's like theft of mail. Sure. You know, like when I was threatening to put. You know, uh, pipe, uh, uh, Mikey pipe stickers on someone's mailbox. Someone got, you know, their panties in a bunch. <laughs> so if I open this box, oh, yeah. it may be a federal offense. I want to do that. Yeah, we don't want any federal offenses. All right, let's go see. Let me show you some steam fittings. And I just checked the mailbox, and I have a letter. Look, it's from Michael from Schenectady. There you go. Attention, Mikey pipes. With a little... Uh, that's a Mustang right there. Let's see what's in this envelope. I'm going to come out here and get some more light. It looks like a revolver. A well-regulated militia. <laughs> I love this guy already. So he sent an article from his local paper, I guess the Daily Gazette, dated uh, oh, just last week, Thursday, December 16th, that New York City is trying to implement, uh, well, implemented laws to stop natural gas use in new buildings so no gas cooktops water heaters boilers none of that and i gotta read up on this i think they passed it but it's starting like in 2024 i gotta read this article but thank you mike for sending this appreciate it much appreciated what do you guys think about this let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below all right let's go say hi to uh our client who needs a new boiler let's go into the back door Hi. Connie here? Yeah. Upstairs, downstairs? Yeah. <laughs> Connie! Is she upstairs? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Well, maybe it's a chicken. Yeah. No. Where are you? Oh, oh you see? You're about to be have a party without me. Here to get this insulation out there. Yeah. You talk to Simon? He was so. here first. Okay, you can call these people. Okay, good. Uh, I don't know what we're calling. We just called everybody. Uh, Is it Joe, Joe, Mike? Hi. What's going on? Where's the basement door? Jason George. Your insurance is going to drop you, by the way. Yeah, is insurance going to drop me? That's in the world. We still have a problem. We need to call. We got to move the content downstairs. Yeah, so, we're going to no. so, wait, so that's all way. Are we going to rent it out now? Grab a tool bag, and I, it had two AA batteries. It's for that little Testo, that, that carbon monoxide uh, monitor. Yeah, so grab that. Yeah. AAA, sorry. All right, so she gets a new boiler. A lot of water. Oh, wow. Yeah. All the ducks are full, too? Yeah. Ha-ha! Cha-ching! Christmas is day early. It's all full of water. I don't think they are. I think it's just dripping from on top of it because they don't feel like they're no, water. Yeah, there's definitely water in them. All right. It's... The problem is I can't even get equipment. All right. Oh, nice. Lovely. It's a good time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too? How long? What, did she, was she not home? I have no idea. I just got I got to talk to her. I just got here. <laughs> oh. Now she walked into this, she said. Yeah? yeah. Damn. <sighs> All right. I'm going today. I'm going to play two twice. That's why you smell good? It's a Mr. Gold. Oh. I'm just kidding. Too bad I'm not Mr. Gold. Um, hi, Daniel. It's Tolo Brother. How's it going? It's Peter Pan. I'm Peter Pan. Hi, oh. boys. Hello. All right, so... This general assessment. Okay, but all the, they're all cutting the out all the ducks. I know, so you're gonna have to get a new HVAC system too. I know. Aren't you so excited? I am very excited. I know, because you wanted it anyway. Yeah. So now you get it. Christmas came early. I, I said that before. Didn't I say that before? I said Christmas came early. A day early. Look at this. So uh, they look thrilled. Clearly, you made. Well, they're their not Christmas. thrilled. <laughs> I want to be home. 
Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's Christmas Eve Eve. I'm off tomorrow. My girlfriend's not. I get to be alone. <gasps> don't tell. Don't say that out loud. You're jinxing yourself. You get to be alone. Oh. I get to be alone. Hey, Why? So I get to play Xbox all day oh. with my boys. No, he's yeah, not complaining. Oh, it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah That's a good, good thing, thing too. Yeah. He was excited. Yeah. See her every day. <laughs> You'll see her every day for the rest of your life. You marry her. What do we want? Do we want to take a look at an actual AC and see if like there's so much damage there that that needs to come out? Too? It's gonna come out. Yeah, but like, yeah. Like insurance. Yes, we well, have to restore to pre-loss condition. Okay. And unfortunately, because that that air handler is just not can't be salvaged, you have to get a new one. It's all right. You have a public adjuster, and I'm the contractor. And you get the only thing you get to pay for is the boiler because the boiler is not that's on you because that was just normal wear and tear. But do they have to know that? I, yeah. I'm not, you know, you know. I'm just saying the water it's flooded. Not it, maybe it flooded, no. cracked from the flooding. No. It didn't get ruined from the flooding? No. no. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. I'm just terrified because Jack is the one that's going to close it. It's human error. I think going to cover me. It's a mistake. It's an accident. Like, you get into a car accident. Right. Same thing. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be concerned. If anything, so the boiler's on. Are the windows open for a reason? You're, cause there are, I know he was he was he was nervous. I'm nervous too. You're leaving well, the open. You see this? This is a this is a carbon. Are you leaving on. this for me? Otherwise, this is staying open. You, you can have this. Really? For the weekend. You promise? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm so scared. I'm gonna die in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. When is your husband coming back? I don't want to leave. <laughs> Monday. Monday. <laughs> we have all weekend, baby. I was just talking to Jenny. Oh my God! It sounded like a scene from what's his name, Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs, with like the halo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jenny. <laughs> and I didn't know. And you know what? I texted her. Yes. And I said, Hey, I need to pick your brain about something. <laughs> Not today. Like three days ago, I needed something. You need to pick like, her brain. I was like, Jenny, I really should. No have pun text intended. Her. But I didn't know. <laughs> I just found out this morning. I was like, Why do you sound like that? She goes, well, well, I had brain surgery. surgery. <laughs> Jenny, yes. Maka didn't tell me anything. I mean, Maka's oh, like, Maka's very much talking about she doesn't there's tell there's me. Silver, s a, s oh, the sibling rivalry. rivalry. Yeah. yeah, but that's always been. I'm saying like Maka doesn't show me like medical stuff anyway yeah. with the family. She's very it's like a vault. What? Ow! Who? Someone said ow. My finger. Really? <laughs> you want me to play <laughs> Xbox about these air valves? It's splashing water everywhere from all the rooms and it's hissing something. So he, and I walked in and I have a video. There's the water leaking. He's, he's literally screwed you right before he left. He goes, you know what? I'm going to screw my wife. No, no, no. <laughs> I felt so bad because he got, okay, so I'm coming home because he's oh. still at the airport. I said, fuck no. <laughs> I said, you go with me over I can't have him but here. Is he going with the guys? And, no, he's going with Yoni to Florida because it's Christmas break. He oh, was off. Oh, that's right. He goes public school. The, right. the last thing I need is Jack here to deal with this. I know. And this way I can handle things that way. I can yell how I want, do what I want. Okay. No, so I have, you have a Burnham steam boil. We have another one. I have to go pick it up. Realistically, realistic, what? I'll show you the same exact estimate I, I gave a, a guy yesterday. Well, you gave a guy yesterday. I'm Khani. I gave him with tequila. This is different. What kind of tequila do you have? What, what do you think I have? Have we, we just met? What was the last thing you took out of my house last time you came to fix a switch? Was it 1942? No, it's Casa Azul. Casa Azul? Oh! Uh, Casa see, Azul. now we're talking. Okay. Do you know why I gave him a bottle of tequila? Because the boiler wasn't working because my husband forgot to switch. You need to get, you know, he needs to... You know. I, I'm on his you feed. Need... You can go on Instagram and see me on his one of his YouTube videos. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Fun times. <laughs> um, and mental health. Because that's what you wrote. You said, I, want, I know you guys brought up mental health, that it's very important to you. And I feel like that has nothing to do with this booth. It's all water. Russian test. Alex is not sitting in there sharing. Your ears definitely. Hold on. Whatever. We'll sort it out. But thank you, my love. I'm gonna call you after I'm gonna just you'll come over tonight and we'll get drunk. Oh, I know you have that birthday party, so you'll come to me drunk already. Great. Bye. Six inch. What are you doing tonight? What are we doing tonight? Que quieres hacer esta noche? I'm gonna drink myself to death tonight. Yeah? Yeah, so the carbon monoxide won't kill me, the alcohol. It's 
It's a better way to go anyway. So I, I, uh, I moved the schedule around. Oh my God, thank you. On Monday, we will replace the boiler. Okay. Um, just give me a heads up with the bill and Jack is gonna, cause they know Jenny has a credit card. But I don't know if yeah, I don't, it's not gonna work. It's probably have a limit. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, honey, I'm sorry. I think it's best. <laughs> Uh, if, that, if, if it was a gold or platinum card, I wouldn't be worried. But I think it's like a. It is. It's a platinum. Oh, it is. Card. Oh, then you're good. Don't worry. You're good. All right. Moved around the schedule a little bit for Monday, as I was telling her. You know, it's if we did it tomorrow, it's just if any if we need anything that we don't have, it's just not going to uh, get done. And then she's not gonna have any heat for the weekend. So I, she has my Testo. Um, you know, handheld carbon monoxide monitor, which she's gonna keep in her, 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 you know, little Pocket. right there, you know. <laughs> and we have, I gave her one that I got from True Tech Tools that's on the second, first or second, the second or third floor. And then I have another one, you know, one of my kid, whatever it is, you know, those 40, $50 ones. So we're protected for any carbon monoxide issues that may occur on the boiler over the weekends and there's nothing was present in the basement while we were there. Closed the windows, still nothing was present in the basement. So, and you know, whatever, it is what it is. So we're heading over to AF Supply in Freeport. We're picking up a Burnham SIN6 with some fittings. I have pipe already and steam trim package. All right, and then we can start our weekend. All right. About 40 minutes there? Yeah. It took a while. I swear, man. <laughs> it's and it's always the case. Yeah. You go into supply house from one little thing, and regardless if it's a boiler order or whatever, it's a minimum of a half an hour, sometimes 45 minutes. And like there wasn't really any much going on there. I know there was like two other people. But it's the regardless of the case, like it's just it is what it is. Well, we finally left AF supply in Freeport. We got the Burnham IN6 gas-fired steam boiler. We got some fittings that I ordered with it and the steam trim box. So we're all set for Monday's installation. I'm quite confident that she'll be good for the weekend. We have multiple carbon monoxide detectors throughout the house. And it is what it is. She's running, she's good. Something happens. You know, we have three separate devices that will alert the homeowner if something goes wrong. So stay tuned for Monday's episode. It'll probably be Monday evening. We'll, we'll manhandle that beast. And there's only there's one good thing about Monday's job. You know what that is? What is that? Maybe she'll have show legs again, but no, no. We have a basement entrance. Right there, stairs right from the backyard directly into that unfinished basement. So that's a blessing because Maybe those we'll... that staircase oh, yeah. with like a 400 pound boiler, the I need like, like it's falling apart. And the staircase is falling apart, yeah. To, in order to manhandle that beast, I would need like four Godzillas. Oh, yeah, four of them. I don't think me and Danny are that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even if you had like triplets, it, it wouldn't be enough, it wouldn't, you, it wouldn't even equal one Godzilla. Yeah, but maybe we'll break out the uh, the stair climbing hand truck on Monday. Show you how we use that. But all hands will be on deck on Monday. I want to bang that thing out quick because I had to rearrange the schedule on Monday to get this emergency replacement done. Anyway, guys, hope you have a great weekend. Don't expect anything from me on tomorrow on on, uh, on Friday. You can expect a, a live stream Christmas evening with some giveaways. And if I have anything saved in the vault, I'll post something on Sunday, but don't expect it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Holiday weekend. Holiday weekend. Time to relax. All right, guys. Happy holidays. It's been a great year. The year's almost over. A week from tomorrow will be New Year's Eve. It's crazy. Time flies. But I really want to give a special shout out to each and every single one of you for helping grow this channel leaps and bounds leaps and bounds so we wouldn't be here without each and every single one of you and thank you so much for that i really really appreciate it all right guys be well god bless stay safe